Hi there, it's Belinda for the fourth and the final Advent Reflection designed to give us a little bit of a pause and a moment of headspace in the run-up to Christmas 2020. So I'm wondering how are you feeling now Christmas is almost around the corner isn't it? You know and I just want to um, say to everybody who's listening you know if you are feeling exhausted <laughs> if you're feeling confused about what you kind of are and aren't allowed to do in terms of meeting up with different groups of people this year, if it's causing you head and heartache, um, that's okay. That is so completely understandable. But there is the promise that in the complexity of life, in the struggles that we have, um, in the ways that are brains can be spinning and uh, that we can just feel wearied by uh, the, the life that we are finding ourselves living at the moment. There is this beautiful Christmas promise and I'm going to read it to us. It's from Luke. It's in the first chapter near the end. I think it's verse 78. Just uh, take a moment, take a pause, take a breath and listen to these beautiful words of promise. The splendour light of heaven's glorious sunrise is about to break upon us in holy visitation, all because the merciful heart of our God is so very tender. The word from heaven will come to us with dazzling light to shine upon those who live in darkness near death's dark shadow, and he will illuminate the path that leads to the way of peace. And just something that I love about that passage that is so full of promise to us is it acknowledges the paradox that the, the circumstances of life can be so very difficult. And I think that we've all been touched, haven't we, by that, how do they put it, um, being near death's dark shadow this year of pandemic living. This passage makes no bones about the fact that life can feel really hard. But the promise is that love is also here, that the heart of God is tender and he provides ways that lead to paths of peace. And I think that is something that we all really need at the moment at the back end of such a challenging year. So. As always, I'm going to light uh, an advent candle for us and it's just a moment to slow down, to be with whatever is with us in this moment and to bring some compassion to that. And in the quietness, maybe connect to that path of peace that is here in the mix with everything else. So you might want to light a candle too um, as I like mine, maybe you would like to get one to join in, absolutely no need to. But let's take this moment of pause together. So um, wherever you are today and however you're feeling, whatever you're carrying with you into this moment, the next few moments are yours just for some headspace and a little bit of quiet. So if you need to turn the TV off or put your phone onto silent or do any of those kind of things to have a bit of interruptible or non-interruptible time, then why don't you feel free to do that. But just get yourself as much as you can into a nice quiet place and begin to just bring yourself, your attention, your awareness into this moment. So that might mean just having a bit of an intention to um, allow the busyness of the day that you're about to have or maybe the day that you've already had just to slip away a little bit and to kind of gently nudge your attention to this moment to the here and to the now. I find it really helpful to remind myself that this isn't just my thoughts 
coming to the present moment. This is actually my whole self, including my body. So this is a, definitely an embodied practice. So it really helps me to have my feet flat on the floor, just feel the solidity of the ground underneath my feet. It helps me to have a physical sense of my body in the chair or the place that I'm sitting. And it really helps me to, as I begin to land in the moment, to just kind of narrow my focus a little bit to my breath. And if, the, if your breath isn't um, an easy thing for you, particularly if you have something like asthma or something like that, if focusing on your breath makes you feel a bit agitated, then by all means, you could just have that sense of um, your feet in contact with the ground. That can be really calming. Or the sense, if you have open palms resting on your lap, just that sense of the air meeting your palms. Anything that just helps you land in this moment. It might be that closing your eyes helps with that. But again, no need to, just do what feels comfortable and supportive for you. The main thing is we are taking a pause. So if just listening to the inhale and the exhale of your own breath can help anchor you, remind you that this life of yours is a gift, that every moment you are being supplied with breath, you belong. Just notice if your breath is fast or slow, whether it's all up in the top of your chest, feeling quite tight, or whether it's nice and relaxed, a little bit lower down. If it can just sink a little bit to your belly. You can slow your breathing just a bit so that exhale's nice and long and slow can be incredibly calming but there's no need to force it definitely no need to change it just notice what's going on just do what feels comfortable so let's just become aware as we breathe of the silence the quietness that is here But underneath all the busyness of our thoughts, the noisiness of these brilliant emotions that we have, there is a quiet place where we can be, where we can observe and witness to all that's going on in this moment for us. And we can do that with kindness. Just notice if there's anything that you need to bring a bit of compassion to. You might want to put your hand on your chest. What is here? What can you notice? I'm just going to leave the next minute really just completely silent for you to just be in the moment, be in the quiet. would like to close this time of reflection with your own prayer, with your own thoughts, with an intention, feel free to do that.
I'm just going to close this time for us with my riff on that old Celtic blessing that I've been using for this series. And it's my prayer for us all this Christmas time. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields, and until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand this Christmas and all the days to come. Amen. I wish you all a really happy Christmas. Thanks so much for joining me. Goodbye.